नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन फ्यूचर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ना फ्रेंड्स एज फार एज एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द फ्यूचर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज कंसर्न फॉर दैट आई कैन से समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट वॉट एवर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड फॉर फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट exactly the same is the futures contract with certain changes so what is futures contract in a simple words standardization of the forward contract is futures contract don't write anything let me explain you first of all the very first thing that we understand is as far as the forward contract is concerned say it is entered upon informally in a way that say suppose me and my friend both of us are entering into the transaction to uh, like buy sale of an underlying asset so whatever this transaction which is entered upon between both of us on direct basis that is what we understand is a forward contract now when i do exactly the same transaction through an exchange it is given a name as a futures contract as we have heard popularly as say the fndo transaction in that so the term f stands for the futures contract and it is entered upon through standardized agency like in india it is entered upon through national stock exchange through bombay stock exchange and for commodity it is so the mcx say with that so you can enter into the transaction so the first thing that we understand is the forward contract is entered upon informally so between direct parties and futures contract is entered upon through a standardized agency that is said through an exchange that is given a name as exchange traded transaction second as far as the forward contract is concerned in that say there is no margin requirement as we have understood that say in case of the forward contract is entered upon directly between the parties so there is no question of the margin as such however in case of the futures contract basically what happens that so the stock exchange is responsible to both the parties for the purpose of execution of the transaction let us assume that say uh, today's date is 1st of january and let us say that say for the month of march i am entering into the futures contract in which say i am going to say buy a security let us say at the rate of rupees 1000 now you can see that say 1st of january to 31st of march or we can say that say uh, for the month of march there is a time gap of approximately 3 months now during this 3 months say there is a possibility of the huge fluctuation of the price of the security if at all the price of the security is say falling down to let us say an amount of rupees 200 then i will be incurring a loss of 800 rupees per share further what happens at say in case of the futures transactions and option transaction there is a concept which is given a name as lot size what does it mean it means that say you are required to enter into a transaction for a certain number of shares or in multiple of that only for example the lot size is for example it is 150 shares so you have to do the transaction of fndo for 150 or 300 or 450 or 600 something like that so suppose this transaction was entered upon for one lot so 800 into like uh, 150 so that is the amount of the loss that i will be having that is huge loss of 120000 now it may happen that say i do not want to make the payment of that loss in a way that say i may default if at all i am incurring a loss of 120000 then opposite party must have made a gain of rupees 120000 so stock exchange is basically responsible to that trader for the that is say for the amount of the gain that say he is able to make that is the reason say what happens at in futures contract stock exchange will collect the margin on the regular basis how to compute the margin that we are not discussing right now but margin is say, collected say when you enter into the transaction that is given a technical name as the initial margin and whenever the price is say fluctuating against your transaction means you have entered into the transaction to buy and the price is falling then in that case 
in a simple language whatever the loss which is there in your transaction that loss you are required to say pay and for that so on daily basis say they will tell your account on daily basis so the transaction in which you have entered upon for that so the profit or loss will be calculated if at all there is a profit of course there is no issue in that case you are not going to run away but if at all there is a loss then there are chances that say you may not make the payment of the loss finally so the loss will be recovered from you say on daily basis this is the way so there is a margin requirement and that is given a technical name as the maintenance margin that is the difference that we have between the forward contract and futures contract in futures contract friends once again there are two parties say who are doing a transaction with that is say uh, between both of them one is the buyer of underlying asset another is the seller of underlying asset buyer will have a contract to buy the seller will have a contract to sell the transaction is exactly the same what we have understood in forward however these are the transactional difference that say they have the third point is the lot size the lot size concept what i have discussed just right now with you that concept is there in case of the futures transaction it is not there in case of forward transaction in case of forward transaction the transaction may be entered upon for one security for five securities for 500 securities for any number of the securities so the transaction can be entered upon that is what we understand uh, fourth method of settlement fourth is method of settlement uh, i just say give a small example to you suppose say uh, me and my friend both of us are entering into the transaction in which let us say that say i am going to buy the security at the rate of 1000 and of course he is going to sell at the rate of rupees uh, 1000 now the date on which say the contract is expiring let us say that say the spot price is an amount of rupees 1200 so i go to my friend and i tell him that say here is 1000 rupees you give a security to me my friend tells me that say maulin you can see that say the price is 1200 so basically you have made a profit of 200 is it fine if at all i give you 200 rupees like that say I may that is my friend may tell me like this. So uh, my friend may tell me that say uh, that is is it fine if at all I give 200 rupees to you. I may say that say yes it is fine. So it is what we understand is that say the transaction may be settled through physical delivery or the transaction may be settled on the cash basis the difference. This is what say we understand is say depending upon the mutual understanding but in case of so the futures contract the things are not like this in that say what that is in that case whatever the so the exchange has decided that is the way you are required to say do the transaction uh, right now in india we have a situation where it is say settled through the differences it means that say suppose i buy and the price increases then whatever the profit subject to the transaction cost will be credited to my account and if at all there is a loss then in that case that, that loss and the transaction cost will be debited to my account. This is what say we have. In case of the multi commodity exchange that is in MCX they have defined for said number of commodities say it will be through physical delivery and for number of commodities say it is through the difference. So whatever they have said that is what say all of you have to follow. Next is a difference called time period. In case of forward it is again the mutual understanding. We may do the transaction if at all say the uh, for one week, for one day, for uh, like uh, one month, for any other time period. As far as the futures is concerned in that so the transaction is required to be entered upon again say based on so the time period for which the exchange allows for stock futures uh, i that is say i give an example to you for stock futures in india so the situation is like this let us say that so today's date is 1st of january 
then so the futures contract can be entered upon for january month for february month and for march month for these three months the futures contract can be entered upon now these futures contract have an auto expiry date auto expiry date means say it is deemed that when you enter into the transaction for the month of january it means that the transaction is entered upon for last thursday of the january month last thursday of the february month and last thursday of the march month so let us say that so the last thursday of the january month is 27 january this is 26th of february and this is 25th of march just i am taking assume values so from 1st of january to 27th of january you will be allowed to enter into the futures transaction for this three dates only if at all you want to do the futures contract for any other date then it is not allowed you have to enter into the futures contract for one of these three dates only on 20th of january when you will open the terminal you will find that say again there are three futures contract which are possible for you to be entered upon 26th of february 25th of march and say for the month of april say now you can do the transaction let us say it is 29th of april that is a way say these three dates are there for which the futures contract can be entered upon on 28th of january this is the way so there is a restriction of the time period say with respect to the futures contract the next is transparency as far as the forward contract is concerned say it is not transparent i am entering into the forward contract with mr a mr b mr c mr d nobody is aware that say what is the price at which the transaction is entered upon by me neither the price is say known to anyone as far as the futures contract is concerned so for that say the transparency is there because we understand it is entered through say the online terminal so what is the futures price that anybody can come to know even though say you are not a party to the contract these are the major differences that say we have of the forward contract and futures contract otherwise in terms of the basic transaction there is no difference may it be the forward may it be the futures again there are two parties one is going to buy another is going to sell both of them will be doing the transaction say at a fixed price at which the transaction will be entered upon so please write down answer for the question i request all of you to write the answer with an understanding do not write it as if it is going to be helpful to me later on it is going to be helpful to me right now and whatever the things that say we have discussed that you are required to write with an understanding right on answer futures contract <coughs> is a standardization of forward contract full stop in the write down in futures contract there is a buyer slash seller of an underlying asset full stop a contract to buy comma sale of an underlying asset 
at the rate futures price. Full stop. In that write down further. Following are differences between forward contract and futures contract. So, column number 1 is serial number, column number 2 is point, third column is forward contract and the last column is futures contract. Please prepare a table like this. In the write down first point, formal slash informal in the write down forward contract is an informal contract. Full stop. It is entered upon between two parties directly. In futures contract, you write down. futures contract is entered upon through a standardized agency full stop through stock exchange. Full stop. In India, through <coughs> National Stock Exchange, comma, Bombay Stock Exchange, comma, Multi Commodity Exchange. Second point, lot size in forward column write down, there is no concept of lot size. In futures column write down, futures contract can be entered upon through I am sorry can be entered upon for a specified lot comma or in multiple of the same. Full stop. In that write down further, suppose 
lot of TCS Tata Consultancy Services is 400 shares. So, transaction can be entered upon for 400 comma 800 comma 1200 or so on full stop third date of settlement in forward column write down as per mutual understanding in futures column write down it is entered upon for last Thursday of respective month. Full stop. If it is public holiday, comma, futures contract expire on preceding day. Full stop. Fourth difference method of settlement settled in forward as per mutual understanding. In futures write down it may be settled through a difference or physical delivery. Full stop. As per terms and conditions of exchange, <coughs> right now in India. It is settled through cash, full stop, in MCX, multi commodity exchange, for certain commodity. it is cash and for remaining it is physical delivery
Uh, before I uh, dictate the next point, would like to clarify that say, if at all you refer, let us say that say the Nasdaq stock exchange, then in that case for them the FNDO transactions will have say certain different method of the settlement. They will have say certain different date of expiry. They will have say certain so the different time period for which you can enter upon. Whatever the last Thursday that I am dictating to you or the time period that I am dictating to you is taking into account India. However, you do not have to understand that say all futures contract all over the world will have the same expiry. No. If at all you refer Japanese stock exchange, United Kingdom stock exchange, then in that case every stock exchange will have their own date of the settlement. However, say when you enter into the transaction, they will give you a clarification. So, taking that into account, you are required to enter into the transaction. Next point, margin. In forward contract write down, there is no margin requirement. In futures contract write down, initial margin is required to be paid comma when transaction is entered upon. Full stop. Maintenance margin is required to be paid comma when there is a loss in the transaction. Full stop. In that write down further, in order to make sure that there is no loss, I am sorry, there is no default, comma, margin is collected from the trader. Six point in that write down transparency in forward contract write down forward contract is not transparent. In futures contract write down, it is transparent, full stop. All traders can come to know that what futures prices are prevailing in the market.
equals to. So we understand that say these are the six differences that say we have. The first one is the formal, informal. The forward contract is informal, entered upon directly. Futures is say through some standardized agency. The second is that say there is no margin in case of the forward, but in futures there has to be margin because somebody else is responsible to both the parties. And of course, say a person who is incurring loss or trader incurring a loss will be reluctant to pay the loss. Next is so the lot size, so there is no uh, concept of the loss size in case of the forward contract. In futures contract that say there is a concept of the uh, lot size, so there is a specific number of shares in a multiple of that only the transaction can be entered upon. Then so the settlement is say through mutual understanding, say in case of the forward it may be cash, it may be like physical delivery, in case of the futures it is not like that all over the world so the things are different. In India as far as the stock futures is concerned, in futures also you are having say the stock futures and you might have heard something like say the index futures that is called nifty transaction, sensex transaction in which you can enter upon. For that say the things are again say slightly different, in that say the transaction is settled through the differences. Time period, again mutual understanding in case of forward contract, in futures contract, it is say as per the like the time period for which the exchange allows you. In case of the stock futures, say it is allowed maximum, we understand that say for 3 months time period, approximately 3 months, that is on 1st of January it can be entered upon for January, for February and March and it will have the auto expiry say for the month of that is on the last Thursday of the March month. And lastly the transaction is transparent say in case of the forward contract sorry futures contract not in forward contract. Next point seventh in the write down time period. In forward contract write down as per mutual understanding, in futures contract write down it can be entered upon for a specific time period full stop in India comma stock futures stock means security stock futures <coughs> can be entered upon for maximum 3 months, full stop, on 1st of January futures contract can be entered upon for January, February and March, full stop. 